Hello and welcome. My name is Nilos, and this is episode 52 of our Let's Play campaign of Factorio Marathon Automation. So, I mentioned last time in our base review that I had recently upgraded to the latest version of Bob's mod, oh, Angel's mods. Actually, Bob's mods as well, because there were some errors with the inserters. Now, what happened is that everything broke. Well, actually, a lot of things broke previously, but now more things have broken. And the biggest issue in the latest version is the fact that if you look here wow that's nice and let oh stop interrupting me when i'm talking here oh look an electrolyzer that's nice well i don't want to build mk2 that shouldn't be a problem oh it requires something called clay bricks now what is clay bricks that is a new thing that is you can already hear my enthusiasm about it uh, because it's pretty damn advanced to get something just to make mk2 engines but we're gonna do it if angel says this is what we must do then this is what we must do so now i'm gonna build something to make the clay bricks so we can actually build mk2 engines assemblers or whatever it is now i need clay bricks they come from unburned unburned come from clay sand and lime all of these things are new so let's have a look at that and i will be working on this here Clay, sand, and lime. That's what we're going to work on. You can also see that all of this area here is completely broken. So we're going to we're going to remove this. This was actually where I created lime. This one, this is now producing. I don't even know what it's producing. Oh, it's producing viscous mud water. And this one is taking something called heavy mud water. So all of this is just junked. I need to remove all of it. Maybe we pick up a fish while I'm at it. Come on, remove, remove, remove. That's a hell of a lot of work to remove here. But what I, what the good thing is, I don't know, this is not good because I have a hundred thousand of these stupid nodules that I have no idea what I'm going to use for. I know they can be produced into manganese and chromium, but that's a long time in the future. The good thing is I have 20,000 landfill. That will uh, come in handy for sure. Oh, don't pick up the fishies. I don't want fishies. I don't have fishies now. No, no fishies. Right. So we have at this point now a clear space to do this. A new oh, follower. Damn. There we go. Let's see if some of it can be put in here. I don't know. Not really. Okay. Let's uh, start from the start. Let's start up here. Start from the start. Great way to start actually. Here. First, I'll get uh, something here, and this one will be, I will take viscous mud water inbound. Great, viscous mud water. I wonder what that's going to be. And then I also need an old, good old con conventional pump here to reach it into this lo location there. It'll be went into the further one. Now I will, oops, do this part so that I can see Oh, it's not plugged in. I'm going to do some power poles here and I'm going to do light here. That's going to be work quite well. Let's make sure that things are hooked up like so. And get that one. Oh, that's a good one because then I can get my crawler trains. <clears throat> Let's see. Now, you are now, you're producing stuff and you're going to produce it here. And maybe I don't want red belts for such a thing i don't even know seems a bit wasteful to do anyway we'll put it on a belt for now what the first thing is we want to make is down here i can make lime it comes from light water i can make clay for the clay bricks it comes from the concentrated and i make can make sand that comes from the thin i'm gonna do the, the hierarchy goes heavy so viscous becomes heavy, becomes concentrated, becomes light, becomes thin, becomes saline. Yes, it is completely stupid. There we go. I said it. But this is how it is. And this is how we, we're going to do it. So basically, the first one I need comes from the concentrated. So I'm going to stop at the concentrated. Oh, the good thing is all of these are 100 in, 100 out for five seconds. So all of these work exactly as they should. And then I can take the mud and go back. But I'll never do that. I'll make the mud. Mud will always be made into landfill. Way better. Now, 
Next, <clears throat> the first one here, this comes from, the notches come from a heavy, I don't want it. Clay, concentrated, that's, again, five seconds, but it's 40. So if I put three of them, that'll be fine-ish. I will continue to make one more. I'm going to practice using the Q button a lot more. This becomes now the concentrated mud water. Yes, indeed. So again, here, let's get, oops, Q there, Q there. <clears throat> this concentrated and what I also need is actually such things here. Now you are also producing, great. And you also need to put it out on the belt because you're also gonna get a bit of mud as a residual. This is basically, I guess this process is thinning it, out, thinning it out. So it gets mud water and then it gets gradually extracting a bit of mud from it. The next part is the part where now I'm gonna have to kill this one, unfortunately. So let me think how this is gonna be. This will be the clay part. I'm going to do two things. This could be like so. And here, here, here. That seems a bit wasteful. The reason why I, I put a bit of extra effort into this one because I know I'm going to need it later on for different things. I think it's better to put it here, then it covers more of the area. So here, and this will be producing some output, which I will be putting on this belt. I think I like to build the red belts as well. Now this one I need to replicate, I think. Replicate this to that location and that location again. The reason why the three is overproducing slightly And I will then be taking from here and into that. I will definitely need more of the underground pipes. Good. So if I could just hook this one up, then everything would be fine and dandy. There. That one is not needed. And that one is needed because I need water coming into this location. So these are now producing and they're producing mud. I will somehow need to put all of this into a box that I will place. I'll place it here, I think. Yay, the crawler trains. I love the crawler trains. They're so awesome. I'll, this one will only have one, so I'm gonna keep making this in yellow. I don't know how far I need to drag it over. I'll save, come on, and Oh, it's too far, way too far. So they'll be on different sides, so this should be okay-ish. Bring it over here and... Oh look, this is actually not correct because they are two different things. So I will be dragging this one into the box by itself. The reason I wanna do that is because I'm not sure I want all of them to be running all the time. But this one is a residual project so product, so that must run all the time. While this one, oops, that's a not a good position to put it in. I actually want it rather here. This is not a residual project product, so I may not want this to run all the time. Therefore, we will get it into this location. Like so, now we have clay. Good, the next part will actually be for, that'll be the limestone. And that comes from light, while the sand comes from the thin. So I'm gonna take all of this and just extend it a bit. That's the reason why I'm, I wanted to build it like very modular. Question is, should I put it on the same belt? Because then it goes on a residual, no. I will unfortunately have to build separate belts for it. And these ones will have to be changed. That one goes away, that one goes away. And this one will be changed to be limestone. Come on, show your reach. Good. 
Unfortunately, we don't have enough of these. I don't know if this is even a good idea, but... But it is what it is. Now, the next part is actually... I'll take one more of these, which will get the water from here. And this one will make light wat mud water. Now, the light mud water is exactly what I need here. Let's see how much... When, in terms of light mud water, how much do we need? We need 30. So if I get... I'll build one more, because then I'll still demand 120. Does that make any sense what I'm saying here? Or is, am I just talking out of my ass? Basically, the idea is that I want the last step to be consuming all of this. So these are always running, and this one might be slightly idle. I prefer being slightly idle than to, uh, to not be using all of it. Here. And this should work. They're now producing limestone. Of course, there will be a bit of backlog. Here's also a full time, a full process. It goes into this location. I do not have enough, enough build. I can see that already. And that goes in. These two may be constrained at some point. I mean, let's actually constrain them right now. What is this? This is gun turret damage available. I don't know. We'll just take it from the top. This one will be only enabled when clay is less than 5,000. Why not? Copy, paste, and then it's just not clay, but it is limestone. Awesome. And now we proceed. This one actually needs to go up on this one. I think that uh, the mud always has to be on the same one. And I think the mud can be better, done better than this, because I just need a mud input. Let's put it, let's put it here. Input, thank you. that's now taken care of and now I need the next one the next one will be the sand which comes from a thin that's only taking 20 thin mud water but it's still more or less the same from here all of this is the same it's just ever so slightly different <laughs> it's the same except different and that's the one and that's the one I need to take out because these need to be turned into sand Oh, did I run out of that? Oh, I'm going to do something very forbidden. I do have the time, so I'm just going to start building it. I don't produce anything else by hand, so I might as well do this. Oh, is there a mistake here? Yes, there is. This one is jamming in a second. So here, good thing I noticed. I'll be crafting this one. This will now be making the thin mud water. And I have to remember to this part. Q, insert. Q, insert. Is this happy? Yes, this is happy on the side. And here we'll do the, this changes to sand. Oh, I did already change it to sand. That one. And of course I need the water input. That one should also be there. Yes, please. Looks good. Are they working? Are they working? This is not working yet. Why this is not working? Oh, it is working. This one is working. And the last one is it working? Yes, it is. And I'm going to need one more of these. I'm going to take... Well, how is it? This one. Like so. Yes. And... It's going to re be really good at this Q thing. And now that works. This is now thin water in. With five of these. Look at that. That's a lot of outputs I will at this point let's see it's just for the hell of it make it slightly different is that even necessary I don't think it is just keep going this is totally not necessary isn't it Uh, 
I might change this at some, oops. There. Okay, so this one will be, this is the sand. And it's important that the sand actually has its own input line because I want to be able to constrain that as well. Uh, and I will do exactly the same as the previous one, copy paste. This one will then only be the sand. Cool. So now I have all the raw ingredients except for one thing. Put these in, the raw ingredients. One of the problems is actually the fact that Oh, stone bricks that we can do blast furnace mk2 i am still able to make an mk2 blast furnace that is nice actually i should not have built this one like that damn um here instead i guess reason for this is because I need the space. I need the space for a blast furnace. And I have not explained yet why I need the blast furnace, which is not fair. But let's do that now. Sorry. Sorry. I just... Whoa. Um, what I need to do is actually I get limestone in, but I need lime. So let me build the lime. At this point, I want to build this corner. Just the best way of, of powering this is to build it in the corners where nothing else can be built. And I want an input and output. And I have a flare stack because this is carbon dioxide and I don't want carbon dioxide at this point. So I need some power. I'll just use wood, the wood that I harvested on the way over. It's gonna run out at some point and I hate that, but yeah, nothing to do about that. This one will not be 1,000. It'll just be 1,000. Because I don't really need any of these to be very high, do I? Yeah, so these are actually jamming. That's good. Good, that's jamming. And this one is not allowed to jam. So the next part is that I'll be crafting... The clay, unburned clay bricks. Yay, unburned clay bricks. Where are you? Clay bricks here. They are just crafted in normal thing. Clay, sand, and lime. Good. I'll build that here. There. And I'll just grab two things in and one out. That should give us something, at least, to get the ball rolling. It takes a very long time to build it. But now we have it. Now the next part is actually now we need the unburned clay bricks and make them into burnt clay bricks. And they can... Oh, there's also the concrete. Ugh, I don't even like that. I don't. Cement and slag and water. It is more correct recipe for, for cement or for, for concrete. Now, this one takes place in... We can just do the normal. Two of these. Nope, not like that. They will have to be on the side, unfortunately. So we have inputs and outputs. Is that the only thing that can be burned? Yes, I suppose it is. So at this point, I'll have 100 of each of them. The stone here, this one will continue to go, and I will actually also build a tiny little one here, which just takes and makes it into... Oh, where are you? Here. Mud. Can I build some stack inserters? Yes, I can. Because now I have them. So I'm going to build two stack inserters. That's going to be lovely. Two stack inserters. Look how fast it is. Okay, that's way overdoing it. I'm going to need one stack inserter then. Look how fast it is. 
And that's the whole point is the question is whether I will be able to keep up with just one. I can also make one more on the side. Let's do that. One stack insert in and one blue out and copy paste. So the whole point of this or the whole output of this is a lot of residuals that comes from nothing. But the idea is getting the burnt bricks. So this one will always be slower than these. How many bricks? Okay, so it's two to two. And these ones, I don't know if they, can they keep up? It's still going up, right? On, it just went from uh, the mud 1.1 to 1.1. 1.1. That's again, we'll just keep going on the tech because I'm gonna need all the tech here. Okay. And it's also important that this one seems to be not fast enough. The reason why one of those turned red. Yeah. And there's no way for me during to easily scale these two up, except just building the whole damn thing again. I mean, I'd have to build up here and then I could build it up here and then drag it down. Put sort of this setup here and then connect it that way. It's going to be enough. This is something that will just endlessly run and get it. Okay, so these two for landfill will actually consume fast enough. I like it. And that means I can actually transfer the landfill over. I don't know. I don't want to do that. I could just start going crazy on the landfill because, hey, why not? Why not indeed? That means... That means actually I need to put everything in here and just take landfill. Yay, landfill. I have a couple of minutes left of this episode, so why not go crazy on landfill? Let's see, where do we want to start going crazy? I think that's actually up here. Which kind of means that I need the, the car to come along. What if I put you back and then emptied everything in the car, put that in here, and then put... Then now it becomes really obvious how little this actually is. I mean, I have 20k landfill. However, it's nothing. It's nothing at all once I start using it. And it's not really technically needed at this point. Oops. But why not? Again, something. More vehicle batteries that we will never ever use. But at least, hey, now I have it. Here. Let's start by having... Landfill. Could also be in my car, couldn't I? Well, that's the running path. Why do I even want the running path? Not sure I do. I think it's actually the train tracks that have higher priority. Oops. At least we clear out all of the trees right at this location. Mess it up there. And let's see if I do it this way. Yeah. I can make my train tracks out. Yay. S the silliness knows no bounds. I think I need a car for this. Let's see how far I can get on this, this one. Oops, made a mistake already. Dragging a straight line is surprisingly difficult. Yes, auto save. Now all of this in here will just need to be pasted. Oh, ran out. Where is the car? Uh, where did I put it? Oh, I put it all the way down there. That's uncomfortable. See, this is already the first part of it. It is more landfill, more 7,000 landfill. Question becomes, should I then fill in this area? Or should I continue pushing out this part? Because one of the things that I need to be a bit worried about is where do I get the water from? I will at some point need to bring the water. I can just bring it up from up there. So no worries. I can paste all of this if I want. 
I mean, I'm, I'm sure someone will also comment on the silliness of me just landfilling everything. I think this is a... This is part of the concept of this base is that it will be uncompromising in terms of aesthetics. That if I want something done, I'm not going to build around the base. I'm going to build anything. I'll just the train tracks, the aesthetics, the walking path. They are sacrosanct. They will not be violated for anything. If I have to landfill uh, the ocean, then I will do so. I will landfill the ocean if that's what it takes. This was kind of an arbitrary place to stop, but I was, oops. Another thing here, what is that? Less process, lead processing. There are too many researchers. Too much research here. Back and forth until it stops. There, that was all of it. I didn't, don't think I, I said 7,000 plus 7,000 plus 1,000 more maybe. That's 15,000 and I had 19,000 in total. But we did a nice little uh, lake landfill here. Didn't cover as much as... I'm, I'm every, I am I'm. know that every time I use landfill, I get surprised by how little it actually does. But this one was, was like 20,000 and I was like, I was really happy about 20,000. And it didn't cover much. I'm gonna need millions and millions of landfill. We have a lime that's... Pro enough. Ah, oh, there's a tiny bit more. We can just go up there. I'll go up there and fill that leg in. I might as well just start from here because that's actually uncomfortably close. I mean, this is also the start of a new district, so how I'm, exactly do I intend to do this if I don't? How am I going to build this district if, I, if it's in the water? Yeah? Consider that. And we'll just branch it out to this arbitrary location that for some reason, oops, no. So much for the arbitrary location. Probably not a good idea because now I'm gonna be, have to build it back. Let's see how far I can get on this path. Nope, not far enough there. There, that's as far as I can get. And then we have our kind of ending in here. Not a big deal. Anyway, we are going to end this episode here. We just to recap is that we built the washing thingy, the new, so that's uh, revitalized. And what the way it works is that I have now have stone bricks or clay bricks. And clay bricks are actually something I'll need for basically all of the MK2 things. So now I have it. So it just means that I have to go over here and pick it up once in a while. Uh, eventually, I'll need a logistics train network station to set it up. But at least now I have it so I can build my MK2 devices and I can keep feeding limestone in here. No lime and limestone? Don't know. Okay, so thank you very much for joining and I'll be seeing you in the next episode. Cheers. Bye.